you know, there, there came a time when I did a whole change of drum companies, and if you got an idea, you know, in your head, then, then they can actually make it, which was like, oh my good, you gotta be kidding me, you know? I mean, that was just unheard of, that a cymbal company would actually make something that, that, that you got in mind. Uh, the first one ended up getting called a precision ride, and my favorite thing about it was the bell. That bell would just cut through, man, and, and you know, playing hockey rinks, it was just perfect, you know? Me already liking what I was hearing, I mean, there was no, you know, they couldn't deny that. I mean, that was just something incredible, which they've made a couple of ride symbols. I've actually got some new stuff I'm using on the tour. This is my signature ride, one of them. It's called the Liquid Ride, which is pretty much my dream ride symbol. It sounds fantastic playing jazz, and it, it works for playing whatever, which I absolutely love. I mean, I still absolutely love that symbol. The only thing I missed about it was the bell wasn't as aggressive as the first one. So what I'm playing on tour is actually, again, it's a prototype, there's no name for it, but it's pretty, pretty killer. It's, um, it's, it's pretty much all the features of the liquid ride with this really, you know, serious bell on it. It sounds better if I don't hit it as hard as I'm used to hitting a bell. Uh, I break most sticks on the bell of the cymbal, you know. And so this other one, it's a bigger, more heavy-duty bell, and the sound of it just knocks me out. I like the consistency when, when they label a thing within certain parameters that, you know, they might change a bit, but you can pretty much count on the fact that if this is what it says, that, that's what it's going to sound like, you know. It's, um, it's not a crapshoot, you know. You know, there's always a sweet one, probably like guitars, you know. You might have four models of the same guitar, but one of them just speaks to you, you know and symbols are the same way. And I basically had some stuff in my head that was really consistent with that I wanted to hear. And I called them up and, and they made arrangements for me to come up there and, and spend the day in the factory working on it. Well, it took a couple of days and, I mean, just, you know, you can't ask for more than that, you know. If, you, if you're playing a holiday and, and you got one of those managers that says you're too loud, it'll probably last forever, <laughs> okay? When you're playing hockey rinks and stadiums, uh, like I've cracked a, cup, cracked a couple on tour, you know, just, you know, which is really fun, <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> Sabian probably doesn't want to hear that, but I mean, I beat the crap out of him, so it's okay. This tour, like I say, with these prototypes and then a couple other things, I'm doing this stuff a little differently than I had been. This is a 22 ride. Funny enough, the one I'm using on the tour is a 21. I've got a 22 version of the one, the prototype I was telling you about, because I always thought that's going to be the one, but this 21 I've just really fallen in love with. Crashes, I tend to mostly 18s, and but I haven't used a 16 in years, whereas on this tour, I've got a prototype 16 that I actually got to go in and design. Um, that china, that wacky looking thing, it's, uh, it's, they have an O-ring crash. I guess this is the first time they made an O-ring china. It's good. I, I love the sound of it. It's more like white noise, you know, as opposed to clanging, you know. This is a 15 sound control, HH, this little guy. That's, it's one of my favorite crashes that they make, actually. And that little, uh, the little splash over there is another prototype. There's no name for it. It just sounds amazing. <laughs> the rock, these hats are a little different than what I use on tour. These are 13s, uh, HH rock hats. And I normally use 14-inch AA rock hats. Even when I'm playing jazz, it's like I actually really love the sound of the rock hat. You know, I mean, the stick, stamp it, whatever they want. But, you know, ultimately, it's what it sounds like. And I find that they're really nice and bright, and especially when I'm playing jazz, when I'm playing, you know, the hat with my foot, it cuts. It actually cuts through. For different gigs, different sessions, or whatever, I'm using different stuff, so it's like, it's not like I always use only the same thing. If I'm working for a producer and he needs a certain kind of sound, then I'll, you know, try to deliver what he needs, you know. The consistency, again, it's like, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, I'm really impressed with that. And the people, it's like, I like the fact that it's such a family company. At this level, I mean, I've been really, really fortunate, real blessed to, to do what I do at the level I get to do it at. And, you know, I get, I get gear, you know, I actually have my choices of, of gear to, to sort of deal with and stuff. So for me, it's about the relationship. 
I mean, I think at a, I think at, at the top level, nobody makes bad gear. I don't think to be real to be really honest about it. I think I think different companies have one thing. They might they might have some special thing that they do better than say maybe another company. But at the end of the day, you know, when you got when you need something at the last minute, when you're on the other side of the world in some tiny little city that's nowhere near you know anything, and you need something tomorrow. Uh, not every company is willing to, to do what you need to, to make sure you're taken care of. Sabian's one of those companies that'll, that takes care of that. If it broke when it shouldn't have, like prematurely or something, then they send them a new one.